want to have a look at two different ways of viewing subtraction. And the reason we want to do this is sometimes calculations will be easier if we view it in one way and in other times viewing it in another way will be easier. So let me start with talking about one of the ways of viewing subtraction and that is to see subtraction as takeaway. And in this case it's something like this. I've got these five sweets and my brother comes and he takes three of them away and what do I have left? Well I can see quite clearly here once I've taken those three away I have two left. So that subtraction is take away. Another way of looking at subtraction is subtraction as difference. And in this case we'd have something like this kind of a story. I have five sweets and my brother has three sweets and I want to know how many more sweets do I have than my brother. Now I can quite easily see that I have got two more than my brother. But how am I thinking about that? Well, these are my five, this is my brother's three, and I'm looking at what the difference is between what I have and what he have. And the difference between what I have and what he has is these two here. And this is the idea of subtraction as difference. Now we're going to see that in some calculations it's going to be easier to think of subtraction as take away. For example, if we've got 104 and we need to subtract 2, the easiest way to do that is simply to think of we're at 104 and we've got to take 2 away. In other words, we've got to take 2 steps back and we'll get to 102. So there that subtraction as take away works well. But if we have, for example, 104 subtract 99, it's not going to be very easy to go, here's 104, and now we need to go and take 99 steps back. That's going to take us an awful long time to do. But what we can do is we can think of it in the following way. We can think of it like, I have got all the way up to 104, I've got 104, and my brother just has as far as 99. And I'm interested in what the difference is between what he has and what I have. And that's quite easy to see. The difference between 99 and 104 is just five steps. And so this idea of sometimes thinking about subtraction as difference is a really nice one to prevent you from having to do long, complicated calculations. Say, for example, someone asked you to calculate this. Now, of course, you could go and do a whole, you know, long subtraction calculation. But if you think about all the things you're going to have to do here in order to do it, even if you're using some kind of column method to do it, it's going to get very complicated. And in fact, if you just think of it as difference, what is this asking? It's asking, how far is it? How far is it from 1998 to 2004? What are the, what's the difference between those two numbers? And if you think of that, well, you're just saying there's 1998, there's 2004, and you can easily see two steps to go to 2000 and another four steps to 2004. So the answer here is six quickly and easily.